Hi, Becca is something that we have always emphasized to our clients but something that a lot of our clients tend to forget doing. So today, what I would like to show you is how we can actually create a scheduler backup for SQL accounting. So for SQL accounting, we can actually create scheduler backup for an individual file, the entire database, or we can even think about setting up in a way where the backups can be emailed to a particular email. So for today's example, we will show you how we can do a scheduler backup for an individual file. So to do this, all we just need to do is we need to come here, click the three dots here. Okay, so let's say I want to backup this testing company file. All I just need to do is I right click, click generate backup script. Alright, so the system will actually ask you where you would like to actually backup the file. We just click the three dots again. Let's say you want to backup to your desktop just press OK and of course we need to key in the administrator password so we type here ATMIN for administrator password and that's one important thing that we must always make sure that is tick that is your zip backup field here click it done alright so once you have ticked that you can just see at the bottom here there's a backup script already available all you just need to do is click copy and then we can launch our Windows task scheduler Alright, so to do this, all we just need to do is press action, create a basic task. Alright, so for the name, you can put SQL accounting scheduler. Alright, once done, just press next. And for us, what we like to always suggest is to do a daily backup. For companies that actually turns off their server, what we will recommend is to actually take this when the computer starts, alright? But for today's example, we use daily, press next, and if your server is on 24 hours, you always recommend sometime in the early morning. So let's say example, 3 o'clock, oh, oh, and put this as AM, alright? So once you're done, you just press next, and then here we make sure we have ticked this start a program, press next again, and then here we will need to put in our script. So we just right click here, paste, and once done, we just press next. So this message should actually appear. All we just need to do is we click yes to continue, and then once we're done, we just press finish. Alright, so that's all you need to do, and now your scheduler backup is all ready to go. Alright. So that's it for today. If you like this, do like and subscribe so that you'll be notified when we release new guides on SQL accounting. Thank you.